The Weather Extreme video, this is for Memorial Day, Monday, May 29th. I'm James Spann, a moist, soupy air mass in place. We'll have the chance of a few showers and storms today, and really no big changes for the rest of the week, at least a chance of scattered showers and storms each day for the next seven days. Nothing to sweep out the higher dew points in the moist air. Check it out this morning. There's the 500 millibar look, about 18,000 feet off the ground. Got troughing north of the state, a zonal flow down below that. And here's one of these cool goes 16 water vapor satellite loops early this morning. Uh, convection on the Gulf Coast. Up this way, things have been relatively quiet overnight as compared to late Saturday night, early Sunday morning when severe storms blasted through here. Temperatures this morning are uh, in the upper 60s and low 70s. A very muggy morning. Birmingham at 70. We'll expect a high in the low 80s in most locations today with only a limited amount of sunshine. Nationally, it's colder back in the western states, but nothing to get that cool air down in here anytime soon. I mean, after all, you know what starts this week? Yep, meteorological summer. A quiet war morning on the watch warning map. Things are pretty calm to start the day. Later, maybe some strong storms across the uh, southern states. We have some type of severe weather risk all the way from the southern tip of Texas up to the outer banks of North Carolina. In Alabama, most of the state with a marginal risk. Although uh, Cherokee and Cleburne counties in extreme East Alabama with a slight risk. And we'll take a look at this in just a moment. But uh, generally speaking, I don't think we have a big severe weather problem today. Tomorrow, a risk of severe weather, a marginal risk down south for South Alabama, uh, south of a line from near uh, Millery over to Eufaula. And then Wednesday, day three, a risk of severe weather for the Tennessee Valley. And again, it's a marginal risk. We're getting uh, really out of our spring tornado season into summer where uh, we could see a few strong storms, maybe a microburst from time to time. But typically organized severe weather tornadoes are not a problem here June, July, August, unless we have some type of tropical system involved. Rain for the next seven days. Here's another problem with summer weather. Uh, the rain distribution tends to be very uneven. So making these maps can be kind of hard this time of the year. But generally speaking, one to two inches for much of the state between now and Monday of next week. Model fans, here we go. The GFS. This is the 06E run at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Again, this is at 500 millibars, troughing north of the state. Down below that, a surface boundary from uh, Nashville down to Dallas, and it's not going to move much. We stay in a humid air mass. Here's the high-resolution HER, and these uh, high-res models will tend to struggle in patterns like this, but this is suggesting there could be showers and storms about over uh, mainly north Alabama at noon. 10 o'clock tonight, again, evidence of a few showers and storms around. The bottom line is, if you're planning Memorial Day, yes, it could rain a time or two, but maybe a decent part of the day will be dry. More clouds than sun, not much sunshine today. This is the instability at 2 o'clock, and you can see the numbers peak down around Eufaula and Dothan at 3,400 joules per kilogram. Hardly any instability for the northern part of the state. And again, the storm relative felicity values are very weak, so uh, the, the severe weather threat, generally speaking, looks pretty low today with uh, parameters like that. Now, tomorrow the surface boundary goes nowhere. Clouds, scattered showers and storms, that's going to be the theme for a while. This is Wednesday. Uh, we'll call it partly sunny showers, probably fewer in number. Highs, low 80s. Thursday, some risk of scattered showers and storms, better chance afternoon and evening. This is Friday. Same thing. You know, if you're looking for a day where it's totally dry, you know, you just don't find those much in June, July, August. In fact, I probably need to post my uh, essay on summer weather in Alabama so you'll understand how this works. This is Saturday. Uh, mix of sun and clouds, scattered showers and storms. Same thing. Sunday and Monday of next week, troughing over the east, and again, a moist air mass, some chance of scattered showers and storms. As you get the idea, that's uh, pretty much a fixture in our summer weather forecast uh, for three months. This is the end of the forecast period, uh, Wednesday of next week, June 7th. The good news, no sign of any nasty heat bubble in here. Heights a little below average, and again, that looks pretty quiet. And with no heat bubble, numbers just aren't that bad for early June. 
across the board. This is the European data for the next uh, 15 days. Highs mostly upper 70s and low 80s and lows every morning in the 60s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We're on a holiday schedule, one video per day. Back to the two-a-day schedule tomorrow. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.